Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our first guest is one of our favorite Braxton sisters, and we love when she's hosting and filling in for one of us at the Sister Circle. Now she's here to give us the tea, honey, and the scoop on what's happening with her family. That's right. The new season of Braxton Family Values just premiered last week, and it looks juicy. Let's juicy take a look. Fruit. Tony, Tracy, Tawanda, Trina, and Tamar are back. Honest to God. Trina, honest to God. And this season, the sisters get woke. I just got some juicy, juicy news. Ooh, Ooh hi. Please welcome back down to the circle, our girl, Tracy Braxton. Woo! 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 Come through! Yes! Girl, Zeta Blue, girl. Oh, yeah, yes. honey. Mwah. Well, you yes. know this all too well. Yes. Purple is where you're going to place your lovely self. <laughs> what is going on, Diva? Oh, wow, girls. We Braxton Family Values is Very back busy. on and uh, lit. It, yes. Uh, speaking of lit, <laughs> Tracy, girl. <laughs> uh, so what's tea with this TMZ interview? Mm. Well, everybody want to know what is going on with yes. us and how we feel about it. Mm. But you know, we didn't know anything that was going on with Tamar until social media. Ooh. Really? She didn't call us. She didn't do anything. So we just was like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You right. know, and every time we ask her, she didn't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, from the first season, as you saw on Thursday, when mm -hmm. she was like, Tony, What's going on in your life, mm -hmm. you know? No, for real, what's going on with your life? Mm. Cause you, you being quiet and it's mm. not right and it's not fair. Cause people up on the streets walking towards us and asking us, I'm like, mm -hmm. so what do, what do I tell your fans? Right. Wow. Cause you ain't saying anything. Right, right, right. Well, Mama E came down to the circle, honey, had a she whole lot did. to say. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, she did. Uh, she was very real. <laughs> Yeah, and she's protective of not only yeah. Tamar, she's protective of all yeah. of you. Yeah. She really wants to see the best for all of you. And it breaks her heart when any of you are going through anything. Absolutely. Of course. How do you handle your life playing out in front of te in, in television? I mean, in front of everybody watching on television. You know, I mean, at, at first, you know, I wasn't down with it. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, I really don't want no one in my business. Mm -hmm. I came from, you know, the three oldest one, Tony, mm -hmm. Mikey, and I. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the way my parents, you know, raised us, we was like a covered wagon. Whatever goes in the house, stays in the house. Right. Mm -hmm. But when, you know, g going, doing Braxton Family Values, I was like, you know what? People need to know our story. People mm -hmm. need to know what's going on with us because we can help someone else. Because right. a lot of other families go through the same thing we go through. Yeah. Can, can I just add this? So I just noticed you said, growing up, you were, you were like, you were taught whatever goes on in the house stays mm -hmm. in the house. Right. Could it be that Tamar took that same approach? Right now? Right now she did. This season she did. Mm -hmm. Everybody know every season Tamar was telling somebody else's business. Mm. You know, so I'm like, you know what? You telling somebody else's business, you need to tell your business too because mm. if you so that's your challenge else's... that you had with no, it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Goose is not okay. You okay. know, okay. And, 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 and speaking of Tamar, you know, her her divorce is very public. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether she's very vocal about it or oh, not, yeah. it's still very public. As sisters, I mean, obviously. There's love there. Mm -hmm. There's a bond there that can never be broken. Oh, of course. She just shaved her head. First of all, did you guys know that she was going to do that? And second of mm -hmm. all, how do you guys support her through this divorce, even though she's not very vocal about it? Um, when she cut her hair, it was surprising to us, mm -hmm. you know? But, um, you know, us as women, sometimes we have to shed something. Something. Mm -hmm. Either we cut all of our nails That's off it. or, you know, we change our hair dr dramatically, like a, a different mm -hmm. color, mm -hmm. oh, yes. you know, everything else. So, you know, we do things to take off that bag. Oh, yeah, just yeah, take well, that yeah. bag yeah. off of us, yeah. you know, and That's just right. try to start anew, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. And, and by her cutting her hair, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it looks very it beautiful looks on her, and it's gorgeous mm -hmm. on her. Gorgeous. Now, me, yeah, we the same sisters, we say the same <laughs> DNA. I got a few lumps up in my head. I'm hard at it. Like, so therefore, I can't cut my hair like that. Mm -mm, no oh. way, uh-uh. <laughs> oh, my God, you're hilarious. Listen, really quickly, um, it is some things that are really happening with this season of the Braxton Family Values. <laughs> Bombshells are being dropped okay. every 10 seconds. The yeah. people say, you about to be a grandmother. What is tea? Okay. Child, let me tell you the tea. My kids ain't tell me until Girl. November that they were pregnant. Mm. My God. And I, would, I want to punch them. No, I you really can't do did. that. You I know, did. folks I go to jail for things but, like that. But you know, that's my child. Mm -hmm. okay. I discipline them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then here Still we go. Still my child. <laughs> 
me, pick me. Okay, so <laughs> when we come back, I want to find out what is the, your grandbaby going to call you. Yeah, okay. Stay right there. All right, guys, listen, we'll have more with um, Tracy Braxton. When we return, we want to learn what's going to be on your name. Is it going to be Granny? Is it going to be Grandma? Let's see. Mima? Mima? That might be good. Back, honey, with Tracy Braxton. Yes, God, Hello, honey. Music. Yes. But you gave me a real sexy feeling yes. just now. But I also feel like I want to know what's his name going to be for the grandma. <laughs> That's true. Is it going to be Granny? Is it going to be Glamma? Is it going to be Grand Grand? What's going to be your name? Well, what will the baby call you? My son wants him called. It's what we. I can't even tell y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'm spilling everything. My son wants the, the baby. baby to call me <laughs> Poppy. Because Aww. we're part Jewish, my father. Ooh. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I I'm Duchess. Uh, okay, because come on, Duchess. we are. <laughs> <laughs> me Duchess. and my sisters, we made a pact. <laughs> if one of us become a grandmother, all of us will become Duchess. So I'm the first grandmother, so I'm Duchess. Oh, so, so yeah, cute. and we're a royalty family. What come on, more royalty. Do we want? Yes, royalty. Yes. Yes. Well, look here, Duchess. Grandma. Yes. Um, sexy this though. last low record gave me some royalty. Yes. What's really going on with this album? This is a new direction. Um, what is your, I, I mean, I guess, what is your vision now for this new project? And, and how do you feel coming into your next project? Oh, wow. You know, growing up with the R&B, my mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. Nita Baker, mm -hmm. Luther Vandross, you yes. know. I'm from that era, and I love R&B. Yes. And when I, whoever say r and is dying down, they lie. You need to mm. sit down. You lie like a, <laughs> like a rug, OK? Yeah. You lie real good and pretty. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, when I would um, help writing and, mm -hmm. and sitting down with the producers and the writers, you know, just saying my life story and how I was feeling during that time, yeah. you know, I, I was in a I hate you, Jody oh, moment, yeah. too. Yeah. You know? It's and, like and, that sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, just pouring out all my sweat and my tears. That's how you and get it my, out. It's oh therapy. my God! Oh, that's good. And and this album, this sophomore album, is telling you more about me and my feelings. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. I love. Yes. That. I can't wait to get it. But I want to know, like, working in the music business at this stage in life, how do you feel about it? You know, at first, you know, because people say when you get a little older, you get 40, you can't do anything. Mm. Oh, I'm 40-something, y'all. As a matter of fact, I'm 27 years old. How what about it? it? How about it? And, and I'm living life, and I'm loving it, you know? And, and the thing is, it, music is in everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter what age or, or, or what genre mm -hmm. you're in. That's, That's right. I mean, the sky's the limit. Mm. And, and me singing and, and bringing it back, my life is coming back. Love that, love that. Tracy, we love having you uh, yes. here. We want to learn more. We're going to see you more uh, yes, on the yes. Brexton's Family Values, yes. and we're definitely going to go and pick up that album. Listen, we have more music coming soon. Be sure that you get an album. It's coming and next month, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. And the conversation always continues. This is Circle TV and also Community Platform. Mm.